Hey guys, so today's video has been a very, very long time in the making. And when I say a very long time, I literally mean a year. <laughs> I have a little bit of a story for you. Feel free to skip ahead if you like. I do have timestamps down below, but basically I just want to explain to you what happened and how I ended up with these clothes and exactly where they came from. Because despite this being an Amazon haul, these things are actually from Rose Girl or Rose Gal. So basically what happened, long story, condensed down. Uh, last year in about October, I got an email from Rose Girl. You might know them as one of those cheap Chinese websites that constantly pops up on Facebook. They advertise on Facebook a lot. Anyway, so I got an email from them and they asked me if I wanted to make a video and they would send me some clothes for free. I thought to myself, mm, I wasn't particularly interested in the everyday clothing from their website, but it was October and I knew with Christmas coming up, I always see Rose Girl advertising Christmas clothes on Facebook. So I thought, yeah, you know what? I'll do a Christmas haul. So I replied to their PR email and I said, yeah, I would like to make a video about Christmas themed clothing, but I would need the items to arrive a couple of weeks before Christmas because that way if my audience wants to buy anything, they can buy it for Christmas and it'll arrive in time for them to wear. So they came back and they said yes. So this was in like October, remember? So they said, tell us the items you want and we'll send them to you and you'll get them before Christmas. So I picked out a whole bunch of dresses and I originally wanted to do three different sizes. So myself being a size small, my friend Millie from the Marshmallow Girls, who's a medium, and then Tiasha from the Marshmallow Girls as well, who's plus size. So I ordered a bunch of dresses in Tiasha's size, Millie's size, and my size. And I also asked for some men's clothing as well, some for my then boyfriend, now husband, who is like a 2 to 3 XL and then for my friend Sam who's a small or a medium anyway so as you can imagine there were lots of different sizes going on and I had told them like I want to get a range of clothing so we can all wear it and show it in the video anyway fast forward the stuff didn't come in November and then the stuff didn't come until December it actually arrived at my doorstep on December 23rd <laughs> So I guess technically it, it did arrive before Christmas, but I was doing my Christmas celebrations and if I filmed it and I posted it, well, no one was gonna get any clothes in time for Christmas. So I told them like, thank you so much for sending the items, but I'm not gonna be able to make a video until next year. So that is now. And my concern was that because I picked this stuff off their website last year, I thought, oh, they probably won't have the same things this year, but everything was still on their website up until Black Friday. <laughs> And then Black Friday came and everything sold out. I'm not kidding, I'm having literally no luck. It's not their fault. The stuff was available still. They seem to have the same things every single year. It's like their permanent Christmas collection. It doesn't seem as though every Christmas they come out with completely different clothing. It's like they just relist the stuff at Christmas time and it's all the same. So uh, anyway, what I did before filming this video, because I figured there's literally no point in me making this video if the stuff is all sold out and you guys can't buy it, so I did a little bit of a Google reverse image search on all the items and I found them on a bunch of different websites. So these clothes that I'm about to show you, almost all of them, barring like three things, almost all of them are on Amazon right now and they're considerably cheaper on Amazon than what they are on Rose Girl. They're also available on Gamus, Sammy's Dress, I think Zarful, Dress Lily, uh, basically, what I'm gonna do, I will show you this spreadsheet that I put together. You can see on the spreadsheet the hyperlinks and the name on the far left. The one on the far left is the one from Rose Girl, and then I've just put in all the vertical columns, I've put where else you can buy it, and then there's X's for any of the places that you can't get certain items. I know that's a little bit confusing. I'm gonna try and make it very, very easy for you in the description box below. Basically, if you want anything, have a look in the description box. If it's sold out on Rose Girl, you can probably get it on Amazon for less, or you can probably get it on one of those other websites as well. I also had a look at some of the image reviews, and it does look like it's all literally the same stuff. It's not just the same design, it's literally the same stuff. So I have a feeling that there's probably a manufacturer or a couple of manufacturers in China that make this Christmas themed clothing every year. And then all of the independent Chinese retailers online, like Romwe, Shein, Zafel, Rose Girl, AliExpress, Wish, all these places, even Amazon, they all source their Christmas stuff from the same place. Because from looking at images of other people wearing the stuff from those other websites, it's all exactly the same. So sorry that that was such a huge long-winded intro, but I just needed to explain that 
Like this stuff originally was given to me for free from Rose Girl, but all of it is on Amazon right now. I think almost all of it is actually currently available, not sold out on Amazon. Some of these dresses are $30 on Rose Girl and $5 on Amazon. So uh, anyway, with that being said, I hope you aren't feeling overwhelmed and confused. So with that, let's jump into this try on haul of Christmas dresses. Oh wait, no, never mind. I forgot to tell you. So you know how they sent me this stuff for free and I asked for it in various different sizes? I have a feeling that there was an issue, like a bit of a miscommunication because everything turned up in my size. Nothing turned, like I asked for some of the dresses in extra large for Tiasha, I asked for some of them in a medium to large for Millie. Everything turned up in my size, except one dress that turned up in a large and then like a hoodie or something that turned up in an extra large. I, I can't really do the size comparison properly for you for this video. But to make up for the fact that I am such a mess in this video, tell me where you want to see me buy stuff from so I can do it well in advance for next year. So then next Christmas, I can actually, sorry, I am literally the worst YouTuber ever. Next Christmas, I will have a proper cohesive everything in stock ah. Christmas haul for you, I hope. But anyway, most of this stuff is in stock on Amazon. So anyway, with that, let's jump into it. Okay, so first up is this Christmas themed dress. Now this one, this pattern seems to be the most popular pattern across all the various websites. It's a snowman, gingerbread man, Christmas trees, candy canes, a wreath, baubles, various things like that. Now the first thing that I noticed when I pulled all these items out of their parcel was they all feel incredibly cheap. But that being said, you are only gonna wear them probably once. You'll wear them to a Christmas party or you'll wear them to like your work Christmas party or for some photos or you know to go see Santa at the mall or whatever you want to do. They aren't designed with durability in mind. A lot of them seem to be very very thin material that doesn't seem to be sewn together very well at the seams. It does seem like the sort of thing that will potentially break if you breathe a little bit too hard and it's and it's not your size. Now, most of these things on Rose Girl were about 20 to $30. I didn't pay for them myself because they were free, but if I paid $30 and this turned up, I would be furious. <laughs> no offense to the company, I'm, I'm very appreciative that they gave me this stuff, but just be wary as a consumer that what you're paying for, you're really paying for the style and the pattern and the print just being Christmassy in general, you're not paying for quality at all. So let's jump into this. Auntie, look at that fly. Is he bothering you? This fly, there's a fly flying around and it's really bothering Auntie. <laughs> look, is it gonna come for us? There it is. Look. Do you see it? Look, there it is. Look, 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 look. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I really like the shape of this one. I really like the way that the sleeves sort of cut off here. It's very flattering on me, and I like that there's a little belt that cinches around the waist, but my main issue with the belt is that unfortunately it doesn't have belt holes, and it's this very sort of synthetic, smooth material and this belt does not want to stay in place, so it slides down really, really easily. And it, when it slides down and it leaves this sort of hemline that's here, and it can sort of fall down a little bit too low on the waist, and then it looks really silly. So you have to be consciously aware that you need to make sure it's constantly hiked up. So either give the belt a miss, or you might have to put a little pin or something. Now, I wore this at Christmas last year, and I originally got a blazer and a button-up shirt as well that Sam and Dan were supposed to wear. We have this really adorable photo of the three of us together. Now the button-up shirt that I originally picked for Dan, which is the same print, they sent it in a large. It was supposed to be a 3XL. And we thought, oh, that's okay. Maybe Dan will be able to fit into it. Dan, Dan could not fit into it. So this is the men's shirt here. This does feel a lot better. The, the men's shirt feels way better than what the ladies' dress does. The ladies' dress is just so thin. The men's shirt is a, a bit of a nicer fabric, still doesn't feel like a good fabric, but it's definitely nicer. I'll see if it's got something here that might say what it's made of. 90% polyester, 10% spandex on this one. So if you are familiar with fabrics, then you might know what the polyester shirt feels like. Not particularly breathable, this one. The dress that I'm wearing doesn't have a tag that says what the fabric is. 
so it's definitely not the same as this. It still feels really, really cheap though. Now, my main thing is that a lot of my audience is in America or the UK, Europe, you know, uh, and it's really, really cold for you in winter. For me here in Australia, this is the perfect Christmas dress because Australian Christmases can get up to like 40 degrees Celsius, which is this many Fahrenheit. So this is fine for me. But if you're trying to wear this at winter time in America, for example, or somewhere where it's very, very cold, you're not gonna be able to get away with it. You're probably going to need a coat and multiple, multiple layers. So I do have some things with long sleeves. They aren't gonna be very, they aren't gonna be very warm though, but anyway. Okay, so I'm sure that this next dress will be Archie approved. Do you not like it because it's got Santa's face on it? Okay, so this one was actually one of my favorites. This dress feels way better than that first one that I tried on. This is a 100% polyester dress apparently, but this upper half here, this is really nice thick material where the sleeves are. The lower half is very, very shiny, feels... Yeah, it doesn't feel so great. It's kind of stiff, but it feels a lot nicer than the first one. I really like the length of this and I love the scoop neckline. This neckline is really pretty with gold necklaces, for example, because the string lights that are on the design, they are like a yellowish kind of light. So I paired it with a gold necklace and I thought that it looked lovely. I really like the details on the back. It's got these little bows running up the back. This is the sort of dress that would be perfect with pockets. I can just imagine, you know, feeling all slouchy, putting my hands in my pockets here. Can you just imagine? Let's just pretend. Let's just do this and pretend that there's a pocket. That would be so nice. I would love to take this on as a little DIY project and sew some pockets in. Maybe I should just make that a series on my channel. Sewing pockets onto absolutely everything. <laughs> Archie, you have built-in pockets under here, don't you? Hello? Out of all of them that I'm about to show you, Bear this in mind as probably one of the nicest, I would say. Now on Rose Girl, I'm pretty sure that this was 30 to $40, but when I saw it on Amazon, it was, I think five or 10. So significantly cheaper, but from my research, it does seem as though it is exactly the same dress. They all come from the same place. So this one, if you're thinking of buying a nice Christmassy dress and you need something with sleeves because maybe you're in a bit of a cooler climate, at least you can wear a coat as you're transporting yourself to your Christmas party. And then once you're inside, hopefully there's a fireplace or a heater or something so you can keep yourself warm because this for me I'm getting really really warm in this already like I said polyester this sort of fabric does not breathe so quality if you can put up with the fabric and the stuffiness for however many times you need to wear it around Christmas for your parties and pictures and so on if you can put up with it briefly you would be really really happy with this I do love the shape of it I think it's a very very pretty dress okay so this next one once again a hundred percent polyester doesn't feel so great, but the design is really, really cute. I love that it's a light blue. It does, unfortunately for Archie, it has a, a big old cat on the front of it. Yeah, so I can imagine, oh, he wouldn't be too happy about that, right? So something I need to point out about a lot of these dresses, particularly the ones that are polyester, you might have experienced this before, where when you have like a, a, a hemline or a seam running along the waist, if there's a zipper like there is here, it can be a real pain to zip it up over that hemline. So this isn't too small on me. It actually has a fair bit of room. I think that this may even be one size too big for me. It doesn't have a size written on it, so I'm not entirely sure. But when I'm trying to zip it up, it's just it's so hard to, oh, there you go, to get it over that hemline. The amount of times I have experienced that where you need someone to literally like pinch above the hemline for you and someone else needs to pull it up over the hemline and when you're trying to do it on your own you just you just can't get it. That is a big uh, downside for me but the design I think that this is really really sweet. I really like that it's got lace all the way at the top along here. I think the neckline is very flattering. I like the length too. This one isn't as long as some of the others but paired with some high heels it really changes it. I I don't particularly like wearing dresses this length without high heels. It just looks a little bit disproportionate and awkward. But with the high heels, I think that this looks adorable. Last year when I did my Christmas shopping, I wore this dress and I put a picture up on my Instagram story and heaps of people were saying to me, where did you get that dress from? It arrived on the 23rd. I put it on on the 23rd and wore it Christmas shopping that night because I'm terrible and always leave my Christmas shopping until literally the day before I need to buy stuff. 
But uh, bless you. Anyway, so people saw me wearing this on Instagram and they really liked it. It's only taken me a year to tell you guys where it was from. Originally it's from Rose Girl. I think it's about $30 on Rose Girl. When I looked at it on Amazon, it was significantly cheaper. <laughs> the cat, unfortunately because of the way that the dress kind of falls with the shape of the skirt, you can't entirely tell what it is. The cat design gets a little bit squished, so you do kind of have to pull it out a little bit so you can actually see what it looks like. But overall, I think that this is a super cute dress. Okay, I cannot express how much I love this next one. Unfortunately, for an Australian like me, I can't really wear this at Christmas time because it's so hot. Now, if anyone knows anything about fabric, or at least if you know more than I do about fabric, please explain this to me. Because this dress, this dress is made of 95% polyester and 5% polyurethane. The other dress that I just tried is polyester too, but that one is very, very thin and feels like plastic, and this one is really, really soft and luxurious. So I don't know how that works. I, I don't know enough about fabric. I need to start learning a bit more about fabric so I can explain these things to you guys better. But if someone can explain to me how that works, because without looking at the label, I would have thought that this was cotton. Like this is so soft. It's so comfortable. So it's got these beautiful big bell sleeves that flare out. It's actually advertised as a shirt. <coughs> I can wear it as a dress, but I think you'd be a bit better off wearing some tights or something underneath it. I just love the colour of it, it's the most beautiful purple. It's got the reindeer and the sleigh on the front, and they're silhouetted. And then it's got a little village with snow, and it's so cute. I like that it ties up with this little bow at the front here too. This one's definitely going to be more appropriate for those of you in cold climates. And the funny thing is, bless my dear mum, she borrowed this off me. And she was wearing this in winter in Australia, and uh, winter, our winter is like June, July, August. <laughs> so Christmas in July, at least in Australia, she could get away with wearing this. It's just so comfortable and soft. I cannot rave about it highly enough. Definitely would be nice paired with some black tights, I would say. But even just for lounging around the house at Christmas time, this one is so soft. It feels like pajamas, like really nice warm pajamas almost. So an unusual one, but definitely one that I can recommend. Okay, so we're back to feeling kind of awful again. This one is another polyester dress. Feels very similar to that cat dress where it's got this sort of umbrella material. That's what I'm gonna say. Imagine if you got an umbrella and you took the metal out of it and you wore it as a skirt. That's what this feels like. It's kind of a thick, coarse, plasticky feeling fabric. What I really like about this one is the sleeves. It has these beautiful little stars all over it. I was concerned that this top half would be itchy because sometimes cheap mesh can be really, really itchy. It's completely fine. I would say it's not as soft as some other mesh tops I've bought in the past, but it's not uncomfortable at least. I love the design so much. It's got reindeers all up the skirt and the reindeers are glowing with little sort of Christmas lights, which I think is adorable. And every so often in the design, you can see a little bauble with a red ribbon. So when I paired this with a red scrunchie and the red lip, I thought that it tied it in really nicely together. I think the combination of black, red and gold is perfect for an elegant kind of Christmas look. I really like the length of this skirt. It comes down just below my knees. Looks really nice with high heels. Obviously I've been pairing these dresses with nude high heels because they're the easiest to pair with all these various designs. But I feel like black high heels, gold high heels, red high heels with this would be so pretty. It has a really interesting design on the back as well, the way that it comes down into a V with that mesh. And I really like the sweetheart neckline at the front. This one could possibly do with a belt. I, I feel like it's not perfectly fitting my waist. This is actually one that I had originally asked for in a 3XL or a 2XL for Tiasha, but they sent it in a small and it feels a tiny little bit big on me, but I, I just think because all of these are like polyester and they're not really stretchy, none of these dresses are stretchy around the waist or the hemline, I would maybe recommend sizing up and if it's a little bit too big for you, you can always get a ribbon, like a red or a green black ribbon and put it around your waist which uh, this next dress I'm going to show you did actually come with a black ribbon to put around the waist and it doesn't look too bad, so let's jump into that one. Okay, so I finally have some sleeves Hello. for you. Long, long sleeves. And this dress is really, really long. It goes way down past my knees. Now this one came with this black ribbon to tie around the waist, which originally I was kind of worried about. I didn't think it would look nice at all. 
it doesn't look too bad. So like I said, if you decide to size up with any of these, you could just chuck a ribbon of any festive colour around your waist and cinch it in. Now obviously this one doesn't have a flared skirt like some of those others. This is more of a straight cut. This is my least favourite. It feels really awful. Interestingly enough, this one is actually 65% cotton and 35% polyester, which really surprised me because when I think of cotton, I think of really, really soft and plush, but this feels, it feels really synthetic. This feels like tent material. If you bought a tent, and you know how tent material is kind of shiny and plasticky and somewhat water resistant, like if you hosed it, the water wouldn't penetrate and it doesn't breathe. That's what this feels like. It doesn't feel great. You might really like the design, and I guess like I keep saying, if you're just gonna get something to wear to a Christmas party and you're just gonna wear it for a couple of hours, put it away in your wardrobe and not take it out again until next Christmas, you'd probably be fine with it. I'm not a fan of the belt situation being black. I feel like this would have been nicer if it came with a matching belt. You might think differently though. Maybe you might like the black because it breaks it up. Let me know what you think. I feel like I would have liked this more if it had that lovely voluminous skirt like the others do. And bear in mind, if you have like a, an undercoat, a petticoat kind of skirt that'll give it a bit of volume, I think some of those would look a lot nicer. I think Archie does approve though because we do have Archie green and under Archie's wings type of red, right? Let's see. Are we matching, Archie? I think we are. I think we are. Archie is permanently festive, by the way. All year round, he is ready for Christmas. So next up, because we're on the topic of green, <laughs> I have these two hoodies. Now, originally I got these, they were supposed to be for Dan and Sam, but Tiasha and I ended up trying them on together. On Rose Girl, these were quite expensive. I think these were 40 or $50, which, Kind of freaks me out to think that someone would pay that much for these hoodies because they don't feel very nice. When I saw these on Amazon though, I think that they were under 20. Now before I show you Tiasha and I trying them, let me see what the fabric's made of. 95% polyester and 5% spandex. The mysteries of fabric. Seriously guys, it blows my mind that this can be the same material as one of those dresses that I tried on earlier. These are actually really, really thick. They don't feel like they're good quality, but they're very, very thick and warm versus some of these dresses made of the same material composition that feel really thin and cheap. Very, very confusing. Anyway, let's have a look at Tiasha and I trying these on. No, you, you may not. You may not, young man. No. So uh, here are the hoodies. Um, so it's cheap. Feels, it's, it's it's really weird fabric. <laughs> like it's not cozy fabric. No. It's kind of like it's. Uh, uh, I don't like it. It's <laughs> like that gross sports fabric. Yes. Yeah. Gross sports fabric. That's yeah. exactly what it is. Mm. But you know that being said, you're only going to wear it yes. at Christmas. Yes. Uh, you're not going to be wearing this throughout the year. That's true. So if you just want to feel festive and you want to wear a reindeer tuxedo hoodie, <laughs> because that's the style of the century. That's what people want to that's do. That's what you yeah. at Christmas you want to be exactly. like gaudy and tacky yeah. and like you. You, you know, your weird uncle, you want to impress him. You want to make him laugh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're exactly. the clown. Like, I get it. I get it. But to me, <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> and also, if we're going to really criticize this reindeer tuxedo, yeah. hey, the sizing's really off, hey. Like, well, you are not a large. Yeah, that's true. Uh, this that's is true. a triple XL. Yeah, so originally I got the three XL because I thought I could put Sam and Dan in these. So I got a large for Sam and a triple XL for Dan. This being the large. Yeah. I, yeah, see, Sam is normally a small, and I'm normally a small. We can take this, this off now, sorry. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> normally, as a small, I would think that this should be big on me, but this looks, yeah. does this look like it's about... That looks like right? what you want kind of a comfy hoodie to yeah, look like. Yeah. It doesn't look oversized in any way. No, it, it doesn't. Just, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know about the sizing with these. Mm. For a Christmas festive hoodie, though, it's, it's a novelty hoodie, yeah. so that's It's a difference. novelty yeah. hoodie, exactly, so it doesn't matter that it's yeah. kind of super cheap. And in terms of, like... It, there's no loose threads, like it's not yeah, that true. kind of cheap. It's yeah. just... It doesn't look like it's poorly constructed. Yes. It's just... Silly. It's silly! <laughs> <laughs> now this dress, this one did turn up in a large. Now I had originally asked for this one in, I think, a 2 or 3 XL for Tiasha. Uh, Rose Girl sent it to me in a large. But Tiasha was actually able to fit into the large, so that is because this top half here, it's really, really stretchy. This must surely, this, this can't be polyester. If this is polyester, <laughs> it doesn't say. It just has washing instructions. It doesn't say what it's made of. But this, this is the only one, only dress that has a stretchy top half. So 
Tiasha fit into this okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so with this dress, I was pretty surprised because it's a large and I wasn't expecting it to fit just because of like Asian sizing, but it squeezed in, but not even in like an uncomfortable way. It like genuinely feels comfortable. Like I could wear this all day and all night and get drunk in it and I'd be really happy. The only issue that we had was getting into it with the like zip going over the seams of the skirt and the top. Like you know how sometimes it gets stuck? That was like kind of a nightmare, but other than that, it's really light, which works well in Australia because it's like summer here, but I don't know how well that would work in the, in the States. I think also because it's light, it kind of feels a bit cheap. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, well, no, be critical because I, I sometimes say yeah. when, I, when I feel fabric and I go, oh, you know, this, this fabric feels really thin yeah. and it feels really cheap, yeah. I do get comments from people saying just because it's thin yeah. doesn't mean it's cheap. For me, I, like, the skirt feels okay. Like, this is just what I feel like this fabric is supposed to be like. So, but the top, it doesn't feel like the most expensive kind of cotton blend or whatever the heck it is. Like, it does feel like it could rip. And I also am really suspicious about, like, when you sew these two types of fabric together, like, I feel like sometimes that can be really problematic if it isn't done properly because the, the fabric on the bottom, it, like, tears apart really easily if you haven't, like, done the edges correctly. So I'm nervous, but <laughs> I feel okay. I wish I, it had pockets. I, I keep going to put my hands in the pockets and they don't go anywhere. And it's so frustrating. We have to do a pocket DIY. I agree. Stuff. I agree. I think it would be easy to add pockets to I that. think dresses like these just look more flattering with pockets. Like, you yeah. can just sit there and slouch and stuff. But I do like the little, like, cutout in the neck. I think it's really pretty and I like the lace. And it's not itchy. And, yeah. Pretty good. Okay, so next up is the shirt. This is the only thing that they sent in Dan's size. This actually did turn up in the 3XL, and Dan wore this at Christmas, and I wore the black dress that matched the jacket that Sam wore, and uh, Archie was already matching all of us because they all have green on them, so he was matching all of us already. Let's see Dan wearing this shirt, and let's see Tiasha wearing this shirt. You ready, Dan? No. You ready to be a fashion YouTuber? No. Yeah, you need your co-star. Hi. So, tell them about the shirt. It's pink. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. Oh, thank you, thank you. What do you think about the fit? It fits really well. It's not too tight in around here, which like a lot of Chinese shirts on, I don't know, Western guys is. Well, hang on. What size are you normally when you buy a shirt in Australia? An extra large. Okay, so that's a 3XL. Ah, well, super comfy, right? Yeah, so my recommendation, because it's Asian sizes, that's why I got it a bit bigger. So you reckon that's it's a good size? If so, if you're an XL, you need a 3XL, right? Yes. Give us a spin! Alex is making me put this on. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Tiata. Look. If you guys don't already know, <laughs> Tiasha has a phobia of buttons. These are like the worst kind, they're shiny. Wow, well, okay, I'm wait. really proud of you. Thank you. I've never seen you in a button-up shirt. Yeah, it, it's not ideal. Here. Can you do them for me? I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> the shirt's cute. Like, I, I adore this shirt. I think you would look really cute in this. Daniel looks really cute in this. I discovered that um, pink is Daniel's colour. Oh. It really is. When Dan wore this, and I, I saw him, I was like, Dan, we need to get you more pink shirts. And he, he wasn't opposed to it. I love that. That's a man who's confident in himself. I can't. Okay, I'm going to do it. Working. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's Be fine. brave, Tiasha. I know. It's fine. I had to do this in high school. So <laughs> this is a 3XL. This, this is a 3XL? Yeah. See? Wow, it's long. It's let me just... Let me give you oh, a look. Yeah. look how long That might it be is. the 3XL moment. Yeah, true. But not sideways, because I can feel it clinging, like... Yeah. yeah, so it's weird. I think it's adorable. The funny thing about this one, so Dan wore this to our family Christmas party last year, mm -hmm. and when we walked in the door, his brother-in-law said to him, oh, is that that one from Dress Lily? And I was like, no, it's actually from Rose Girl. How did how did you know? Like, I didn't expect a 28-year-old to know Dress Lily. To know yeah. Dress Lily. <laughs> and um, he said, uh, he keeps seeing it on Facebook. He's like, they keep advertising it to me. I get those Facebook ad carousels popping up, and the first one that is always on the carousel is this pink shirt mm. so he thought that it must have come from there so I mean obviously like I said earlier you can get these from Rose Girl, Dress Lily, Shein, Zaffle, Zaffle, Sammy, Sammy Dress and Giz, what? Giz, 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 Gimmis? Gamis, Gamis! If I did 
wear these sort of shirts, I would wear it something like this with like a high waisted skirt. Or oh my god, that's so. adorable! I love it! Yeah, this is your style. Like I can see Alex wearing this, I can see you guys wearing this, so it's cute. Yeah. And again, novelty shirt, it's the same fabric as those hoodies, like that kind of sporty, stretchy, spandexy material, but that's okay. Yeah, it's alright. For yeah. once a year, it's okay. Yeah, I think so. Give us a spin, show us the back. I think the print is adorable. I really like the snowman, the reindeer, the Christmas trees. Yeah, it's lovely. I love the cartoons. They're really cute. They're endearing. They're endearing. <laughs> okay, so this is the jacket that I had Sam wearing in that picture. Now, this came in a medium, and it fits Sam okay. It also fits me as well, but obviously uh, this is meant to be like a men's jacket, so it's not really very form-fitting for ladies because it's got really, really boxy shoulders. But out of everything, I actually think this is one of the best quality. It seems as though the men's things are made a little bit better than the women's items. This one is 100% polyester, which really, really surprises me because it, it doesn't... I don't know, it, it doesn't... This, this fabric thing is blowing my mind. Anyway, I'm gonna stop saying that because I literally say I sound like an idiot. I didn't go to fashion school, guys. I have no idea. But anyway, this feels really good. This, I think on Rose Girl may have been about $40 or so and was uh, worth the price. Like if I saw this in a shop and I was going to buy it for Dan or for Sam or for my dad or something, I would happily pay that. Ah! Because if you go into a store and you buy a suit for like a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, they, they kind of feel like this. So this one is actually pretty good. I love that you can get dresses in the same print as the blazers and the coats because if you want to match your boyfriend or husband or girlfriend or any friend of any sort, you can probably find a matching set. Now this pocket, is it real? The pocket is real. The pocket's real. Okay. Extra points. With this jacket, I'm actually moving on to this section of the video that things are not easily available. So everything I've showed you up until now is currently available on Amazon. I checked this morning that stuff was all still in stock. Up until now, all of that stuff I just showed you is still available, not on Rose Girl, but on Amazon and all those various other websites. But I'm just about to show you a couple of items that I could only find on Rose Girl. You may be able to find them somewhere else, possibly you may have seen them on a Facebook ad or something from a different website, but just from me using the reverse image search on Google, I wasn't able to find these next items anywhere else but Rose Girl, and they're currently sold out. But like I did mention, it seems as though they just restock this stuff in the lead up to Christmas every year. It's not like it's limited edition or only available for one year kind of thing. It all sold out in the Black Friday sales this year, but uh, anyway, if you want to hang on to the hyperlinks or check back on this video again next year, maybe Maybe in October or something you'd probably be able to get these things but you just won't be able to get them this Christmas there's not very many but I thought I'd show you anyway so this jacket is one of them I couldn't find this anywhere else at the moment but if you do know of it somewhere just leave a link below because I'm sure people would like to buy this okay and that brings us to our very last Christmas outfit which is actually I think probably my favorite so it's a shame that it's sold out on Rose Girl right now because this is a not licensed Pokemon Christmas t-shirt this is Gengar wearing a Santa hat and I love him so much. I think it's really cool that it has this uh, asymmetric neckline. It comes down off one shoulder and then it's got a couple of slits in this shoulder and it also has slits in the other shoulder as well. The shirt itself is actually a really, really nice shape. I feel like it cinches in at the waist. It feels like it's tailored. Cinches in at the waist. I wish it was the tiniest, tiniest little bit longer, but that's okay. And then I'm wearing it with these really weird leggings, which are so unusual because at first I thought that that was supposed to be a reindeer on them. But now that I'm looking at it, it, it kind of looks like an elephant. This kind of reminds me of in Dumbo. There's that scene with the elephants on parade. We're off to do 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 do. We're off to do 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 do. We're elephants, and they're like blowing with it. They're blowing trumpets and stuff. That's all I can think of. They aren't reindeer. They have horns though, but they have a long nose or a trumpet or something, I'm not entirely sure. Very, very strange design. But what I like about them is the colour. And they actually feel like they're a really nice material. And this really takes me back to the day that black milk clothing was really, really huge and everyone wanted black milk leggings. I could never afford the real black milk leggings. So I used to go on Romwe and those cheap Chinese websites and I used to buy the knockoffs and you know, they're not, they're not made that well, but they do look like the right leggings. And I used to love wearing the colored leggings with like long black shirts. There was that really famous design that had like the aura in the sky. <laughs> anyway, if you were in high school between like 2007 and 2000 and 
10 or 11, you probably know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I've actually been wearing this a lot in my air conditioned apartment. If I step outside, it's way too hot to wear this, but this is a really, really cozy, easy, comfortable Christmassy outfit for me. Non-offensive Christmas leggings with strange trumpet reindeers and a Gengar shirt. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this one. So hopefully this comes back in stock again next year on Rose Girl. So anyway, guys, that's it, that's everything. I hope you liked this video. Sorry that it's a little bit of a mess in terms of where you can get what. Hopefully you guys understand. Thank you to Rose Girl for sending me this stuff last year. And uh, hopefully if you guys pick any of this stuff up on Amazon, I'm pretty certain that it is exactly the same. But if you do decide to buy anything between now and Christmas, and if it arrives in time, take some pictures, tag me. I would love to see what you guys picked up. Overall, I feel like for Christmas dresses, because you're only going to wear them like once or maybe twice, maybe three times at most, if you go to your parents' Christmas party, your partner's parents' Christmas party, and then if you throw a Christmas party, how many more Christmas parties can you go to? Maybe a work Christmas party, maybe a Christmas party at a friend's house, maybe five Christmas parties. <laughs> if you're going to wear the dress or whatever, five times. And that's it. And then you're going to pack it away for the rest of the year and not look at it again. You can probably overlook the fact that it doesn't feel very nice. Most of them, what you're paying for is the cute print and the design. I actually really like that they're like vintage -y kind of dresses. I think they're really pretty. Because I have all of these, I'm not going to need to do another Christmas dress haul because if I wear one of these a year, I have years and years worth of Christmas dresses. This year I am actually, I'm gonna wear that blue one with the cat on it. I'm going to wear probably the green one with the Santa. It is a shame for me that it's so hot here and all this polyester spandex stuff doesn't breathe very well. But uh, anyway, that's probably enough ranting and rambling from me. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell because I have some really fun videos coming up. I have a Yes Style wedding dress haul coming up soon and an AliExpress wedding dress haul too. And some of my own wedding videos as well are coming up soon. So uh, anyway, hit subscribe if you haven't already. You can find me on Instagram. It's Pretty Pastel Please. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!